Kobe Bryant recently came out stating that he was the best. Michael Jordan was second best. Or LeBron James was third best. He was asked this on one of those late night shows, and he just came out and said it. And straight up and down, this answer is 100% Kobe. This is the reason why people love to hate him, and the fans, those that love him, love him to the fullest. Because his answer showed his game, and that was supreme confidence. Kobe Bryant has always played with supreme confidence. He stepped into life with supreme confidence. You guys remember early in his career in the playoffs where he, he, he airballed um, go-ahead baskets against the Utah Jazz. And most people, they were shy away from shooting. And he airballed the first attempt, and he airballed the second attempt. And people were making fun of him and everything like that. And even Shaq was quoted telling him when he was they were walking off the court, he was talking in his ear, he said, don't worry, keep shooting. And Kobe Bryant... He, he he took that vote of confidence from Shaq and that built on his confidence. It's supreme confidence. It's not like LeBron James we had to deal with in Dallas where that shaped him into escalating and be more confident. From, from that point on, you can see where LeBron James had a lot of problems with his confidence and things of that nature. He's saying, I have utmost confidence in my game and myself. And in order to be the best, you have to have the utmost confidence no matter what it is, you have to have the utmost confidence. And Mike Mike also showed that. But LeBron James is one of the few superstars that we can actually say had like a, a severe meltdown. You know what I'm saying? Like when people talk about James Harden and and you know getting beat in the playoffs, yeah, he got beat in the playoffs, but he was still kind of trying, at least half-heartedly. Then when you look at another thing is what Kobe's response is this. He really believes it. He believes in himself no matter what. No matter what obstacles, no matter what odds, no matter what people say about him, he believes in his head that he's the greatest. One of the things that a lot of people don't understand, Kobe Bryant came into the league, he told Rick Fox as a rookie, he wants to win 10 championships, not six. He wants to win 10. When he had a basketball camp, he said, I'm the best, then Wilt, then Jordan. So he, he has always had this supreme confidence about himself, about being the best, about being the greatest. It doesn't To him, it doesn't necessarily matter about stats or anything like that. He's like, I got the stats. If I play the guy one-on-one, -on -one, I'll beat him. He, he just has that belief no matter what we're talking about, he, he's, the, he's the best at it, period, in the game, no matter what. You can say whatever, oh, you missed the playoffs, doesn't matter. When I, when I was in the playoffs, what did I do? And that's, that's kind of the attitude that he has. It's just like no matter what, he has that sub utmost confidence. One of the reasons why Kobe ranked himself ahead of LeBron besides having the championships and, and stuff like that and I'm gonna get the ball though, ranking himself ahead of Jordan because <laughs> him ranking himself against ahead of Jordan has something to do with his little rivalry that he has going on with Mike. But anyway, LeBron essentially is trying to rest his case before his career is over. Guys, LeBron has been pushing the narrative that he's the GOAT, pushing the narrative of him and his stats and stat pad and all his stuff. He wants to wrap up his package of being the greatest player in terms of an argument of stats, not of results of finals and stuff like that. LeBron James is not held to the same standard that Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan is held to. See, Kobe and Mike were always held to the standard of you got to win rings. No matter what, you got to win rings. LeBron is held to the standard of, well, you got to make the finals. When we're saying LeBron has three championships, which is very impressive, nobody really says like this guy has three championships. He's a he's a champion, three championships. Nobody harps on that. Everybody keeps saying he's made it to the finals eight straight times, nine straight times. For Mike, for Kobe, that would never matter. We would never ever say, hey, they made it to the finals eight straight times and stuff. We wouldn't care. We'd be like, how many times did you win? With Mike, you know what we talk about? Two three peats with Kobe. You know what we talk about? Two three one three peat and back to back championships, five finals, six six NBA finals championships. That's what we're talking about. Well, LeBron, we're not talking about that. And that just goes to show you why Kobe would feel that. Hey, I'm ahead of LeBron, of course, because you guys are talking about appearances. I'm talking about chips, and that's 
the shift that you guys got to understand why Kobe will rank himself ahead of LeBron. You guys can talk about all the stats. You can talk about all the stuff that you want to. But when it boils down to it, when it's the, we're talking about the hardware, we're talking about things on the line, not finals appearances. We're talking about moments on the line. We're looking at Kobe and Mike for that. Well, that's what we're looking at. We're not looking at LeBron for that. Because he's had meltdowns and stuff. And some things that are not his fault. But at the same time, he has to take responsibility. We can't judge Mike by a certain criteria. Kobe by a certain type of criteria. But LeBron James wants to say he's the best. But we're not judging him by the same criteria as Mike and Kobe. Now, Kobe saying that he's better than Mike. I disagree with that. Because he essentially patterned his game after Mike. Now, some people could say, well, he patterned his game. He took it, he remixed it, and made it even better. Like, for example, Microsoft made a computer. Now, Hewlett Packard could make a better computer, a supercomputer, and build on it. So, a computer from 1998 might not be as good as a computer from 2019. We all understand that. But Mike laid that blueprint. Now, the reason why Kobe's saying that he's better than Mike is because he played against Mike when Mike was kind of curtailed end of his career tail end of his career he played against Mike and when he played against uh, the Chicago Bulls he played in Chicago he played against Mike when Mike was on the Wizards if you, if you can see Mike's last all-star game Mike uh, and Kobe were talking and uh, Mike was like I'm gonna get that call every time and Kobe was like nah I, I got you I blocked you whatever Mike was like I got I got six of these you, you only got at the time I think Kobe only had three championships at the time he was like Kobe's like all right all right you got me so the reason why Kobe said he's better than Mike is just because of that rivalry. And again, that goes back to that belief that he believes in himself no matter what. So no matter what you say about Kobe or what you say or how you feel about the man, he's going to always have that narrative in his mind that I'm the best no matter what. I don't care what you say. You can say I lost in the finals this time or whatever, but I still got my five rings. One, two, three, four, five. You remember what he did to that heckler? The heckler shut his mouth after that. Heckling the guy on him, and, he, and Kobe was just like. And that's the kind of confidence that it just exudes out of Kobe. He's not resting his case before his career is over. His career is finally over. He gets to weigh in on how he feels about himself. And it shows from on the court and off the court. My ranking, of course, would be Mike. I'll probably have, to me, I always, and I still do have Kobe ahead of LeBron. Just for the simple fact that I don't really count uh, finals appearances. I'm not that kind of person. Like to me, LeBron has played with a ton, with a lot more superstars than Kobe Bryant. Kobe has played with Shaq, and he played with, I would say, Paul Gasol is another star player that he's played with. Kobe has played with one superstar, and that and that's Shaq. Let's 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 be clear. Paul Gasol is not like a superstar or whatever the case is. Andrew Bynum was not a superstar. Lamar Odom was not a superstar. So do, do we all agree on that, right? Andrew Bynum was not a superstar. Lamar Odom was not a superstar. You look at um, Chris Bosh, he was a superstar. He was a franchise player. You look at Dwayne Wade, he's a franchise player. Kyrie Irving, he's a franchise player. Kevin Love, franchise player. Super, basically superstars. So LeBron has played with a lot of star power, like a ton of it. So like when people are like, oh, like, you know, Kobe had more help and LeBron didn't. LeBron had plenty of help. All right. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. You make it to eight finals or whatever case, you had some kind of help. So we're not we're not gonna say that. Because when he wins, it's like, oh, he did it he did it by himself. When he loses, he has a good team and all the stuff he won. Like when they beat the um Golden State Warriors, oh, all of a sudden these guys are good. But when they got whooped, it's like, oh, he doesn't have no help. So we're not really gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. But to me, at the end of the day, I can understand why Kobe would rank himself the way he does. And I feel like every every legend in the game ranks themselves in that manner. Like, even if it's not just, like, greatest of all time. Like, Isaiah Thomas would feel like he's the greatest point guard of all time. You look at uh, Charles Barkley. He feels like he's the greatest power forward of all time. Carl Malone feels like he's the greatest power forward of all time. Even though Paul, Carl Malone doesn't have rings. So that's what you, you guys got to understand. The real basketball player in you, the true superstar... They are always gonna rank themselves as the best. Even if you'll even see it. Well, back in my day, even like high school basketball, college basketball, guys would know there's teams that are better than them. But they walk in that gym, 
And, you know, even when they play pickup, there's a guy that everybody knows is better than that guy, but that guy's still talking trash to him. Like, yo, I got this. You, you ain't going to score. I'm going to lock you up. Because that's the mentality. That's that alpha male, that co true confidence, and that legacy that you want to leave on the game. Like, nobody's going to outrank me or outplay me. And that's where Kobe's coming from. So some people might take it for a joke. He's not joking. And some people might take it as ignorance. It's not ignorance because... He actually has a valid argument about why he fit. And it's not just it's not just the fact that he has a bunch of stats or he's made it to a bunch of finals appearances. It's about the fact that he was put on a certain require he was placed on a certain agenda or a certain rubric of how the greatest act. Greatest have multiple championships. They have more than three champions, more than four championships. Greats three P. Greats get back-to-back -back championships. Greats get MVPs. He's like, check, 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 check. Greats get all-team defense. Check, check, check. Greats get multiple all-star. Check. That's where he's coming from. That's what he's, that's what he, that's what, that's what, that's what the standard that Kobe's been held to. He's been held to that Michael Jordan standard. He's, he's fell short, but he's right up there. And that's why he feels like he's the greatest of all time. And honestly, you can't fault the man. Even though you, I disagree with him. I think Mike is, but I could really understand where he's coming from. And that, and, and what's great about what he said and did is it showed utmost respect for the game. Because you don't want to play the game thinking that you're second to anybody. Who's Junction? Who's Me Supla? Like, comment, and subscribe.